Hey YouTube, today we're going to do a quick review. Um, a lot of my friends keep asking me which do I like better. Uh, my fourth generation Glock. Uh, this is a model 2-3. Uh, 40 caliber. Or my XDM 40. <clears throat> and um, I got to tell you. Both of these terrific guns, I haven't had a problem with either. Um, as far as a misfire, jamming, failing to eject, um, neither one have given me any issues. Um, there are a few things that, um, you know, it's, it's going to be user preference. For me, the Glock holds 13 rounds, one in the chamber. Um, the XDM will hold 16 rounds. You can't see it. It won't focus in because it's metal, I guess. But it's 16 rounds with one in the chamber. That right there gives a person three extra rounds of ammo. Um, there's a difference in the sight profiles between the Glock and the XDM. As you can see, the both approximately the same in length. Um, this is a Glock uh, 3.8. I don't like long barrels. So as you can see, and as you can see, even with the trigger guard and the trigger, both almost in the same place. These guns are nearly identical in length. With the Glock being about an eighth of an inch longer. If you could see it. <laughs> However, the Glock has a lower profile. As you can see that. That's a good inch and a half. And it's flush at the top. And if you could see, you can't tell from on the camera. Here, let me make it exact. The top on the Glock gives, and on the XDM, it extends for another inch. I mean, this has a low profile. It's a low profile weapon. Whereas the XDM has a much higher profile. <laughs> now these guns, they, they're, they're a very good comparison because they both cost about the same amount of money. Um, this XDM ran me, what was it, about $650. Um, I got it, what, three months ago, and I've put about a thousand rounds through both of them. I bought them both, respectively, uh, at, at about the same time. Why on camera does this top look like it's sloped? I don't know. Um, so they're a very good comparison. Like I said, I've put about a thousand rounds through both. Neither of them has jammed, has misfired. Um, and to be quite honest, they, they both 
shoot very differently. I gotta say that there's one thing about the Glock that I like. Um, the recoil. With the fourth generation, they they uh, doubled the springs in um, inside of the top half um, um, for recoil, and and it helps tremendously. Um, the XDM already had that. Um, nonetheless, the recoil is still a little bit less with the Glock. Um, and so I, I gotta give it that point. Um, another thing that's a difference between the two an XDM is easier to take down than a Glock. Um, instead of holding those two spring tensioners, all you have to do is flip this up on the XDM and it'll slide right off. There's no need to pull the trigger or anything. It comes, the top half comes right off and it's an easy, quick release. With the Glock, still has that spring tensioner that you have to with both hands and I guess you know after a thousand times of doing it it's no big deal but when you get that lever right there and you just flip that up it's a big difference that's a big difference so I gotta give it to them both I like them both um, both the terrific guns um, the XDM gives a bit more uh, safety wise than a Glock does. Um, the only safety on the Glock you're gonna get is the trigger tensioner um, which you have as well on an XDM but an XDM gives you added features that a Glock won't um, and I'll just demonstrate one of them right here As you can see, there's nothing right here. And the top bevel, there's nothing, it's down and it's flushed. Now, I'll show you. When you chamber around, if there's a round chambered on an XDM, give me one second. You can see quite easily that top bevel is out and on the back the pin is sticking to show you hey there's a round in there now it was if it was just cocked without a round in it you can see this top bevel is down it's flush but the back is there but See, no round. <clears throat> Just picking up. So they have those 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 two quick things to show you on an XDM. Give you visible information to show you whether or not there's anything in your gun that can cause a hazard. But on the Glock, you're not gonna get that. You get the trigger guard and that's that. Um, not to say that that takes away from a Glock at all. It doesn't. Just some extra features given to an XDM that a Glock does not have. Um, like I said, it's still going to be um, an individual choice, preference, as far as which they um, feel more comfortable with. Glock's been around for years been in law enforcement for years as a matter of fact they have a contract with the federal government for um, pistols whereas uh, the XDM is a fairly new gun Springfield Armory has been around for years and has had contact contracts with the federal government the military in fact 
um, for years to produce weapons, and they have produced weapons, you know, as 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 far back as World War One for the military. But this particular weapon is new for them, um, and I gotta say, it looks great. It shoots great, um, and um, as far as I can tell, after a thousand rounds, no problems. But it's gonna be. I mean, these these are two. Great comparison, a great gun. You know, my friends, they ask me all the time, which one, which one? And I tell them, hey, go to the range, shoot with them, and see which one you like. Um, get that one. Because um, it's going to be its its preference. And that's it.